In this video, I would like to address a few terminological issues that I have encountered and that have produced a number of uh, misunderstandings or just confusion, either in myself or the people I talk with. The first terminological issue that I would like to clarify is this distinction between uh, technology education and educational technology. In technology education, essentially, we are focusing on the inner workings of the technologies that we're using. So we are interested in learning and teaching about how, for example, the computer works or the internet or our mobile devices. In educational technology, we're not focusing on technologies, but we're using technologies to learn and teach something. So the focus is not on the technology, but on the use of technology. Now it's important to clarify what we mean when we say that we're using technologies, either for teaching or learning. Here again, we should make a, a crucial distinction between uh, merely operating a piece of technology and using that technology. What does it mean? Well, essentially, operating a piece of technology it means that at the very basic level, we are able to switch it on and off. In other words, we have full control of the behavior of the technology we are using. This means, for example, that we are familiar with all the features or part of the features of a given piece of technology or an application. So when we operate Facebook, that means that we can create a group, post a picture, a text, or simply control the privacy settings. Using means more than just operating a piece of technology. Let's make again the example with Facebook. I may post a picture of my holiday or while reading a book I can actually post a, a passage from that book that is particularly interesting and that I would like to discuss with my Facebook contacts. In these two examples I'm actually operating Facebook the very same way. I'm in other words using the function post a picture. But the meaning that the pictures have are completely different. In the first case, I'm letting my friends know that I'm on holiday and I'm pretty happy. In the second case, I would like to engage my Facebook contacts. It's something like a discussion about the very passage from that book that I'm reading. In the second case, I'm clearly engaging my Facebook contacts in a different way that resembles something like a learning activities, at least because I'm trying to understand something. The main difference is the context. In the first case, I'm letting my friends know something about my private life, whereas in the second case, the context is something more like a learning context. That's because I'm involved in an activity in which I want to understand something. In educational technology, the context is clearly dealing with uh, teaching and learning. In other words, is educational or pedagogical. In other words, we are using all our technologies in order to teach or learn something. There is now a third and last terminological issue that I would like to address, which is the very meaning of the word tool or technology. I use the two terms interchangeably. When we talk about tools in educational technology, we mostly refer to the latest digital technologies. So we talk about the smartphones, we talk about tablets, artificial intelligence, virtual reality headsets. But actually, this is a quite narrow conception of what a tool is. And as a matter of fact, there are many other tools that we wouldn't actually label as educational tools, one of which is our educational institutions. Educational institutions are, in my opinion, the most powerful and most important educational tools that we actually have in our toolbox. And the reason is, educational institutions are the tools we are using to organize the very core of education, which is in the end learning and teaching. So, for example, when I'm saying that educational institutions uh, arrange or organize teaching and learning, I mean the division of subjects, the curriculum, and even in a way the learning environments in which teachers and students uh, interact. The reason why we have to look at our educational institutions is that very often these are the barriers for teachers, for example, to incorporate new technologies into their teaching practice. But sometimes the way in which the educational institutions are arranged are also barriers for students to become more active and to contribute to the learning process. So the design of our educational institutions 
should be actually considered one of the major tasks in educational technology, specifically because they affect so much the context in which we are operating and using our technologies. In this video, I've tried uh, to clarify a few terminological issues. The first was uh, between uh, technology education and educational technology. The point that I made was uh, that in educational technology, we are using the technology to learn or teach something, whereas in technology education, we are focusing on the very technologies we are using. Then I made uh, the distinction between operating a technology and using a technology. The main difference is the context. We can operate the same very feature of a given application, but the meaning can be very different because the context is different. I claim that educational technology is that discipline in which we are using tools for pedagogical purpose. The last terminological issues that I try to clarify concern the very word tool or technology, which, as I said, I used interchangeably. I made the case that we have to look at our educational institutions because they are the tools that we're using to organize and arrange our teaching and learning activities. Educational institutions have such a big impact on the very context in which we're using digital technologies. So this is all. Thank you for your attention.